Are you wanting to be successful in real estate? Wanting to learn how to consistently close 50 plus deals in a year? In this video, I'm gonna be going over the disciplines, business approach, and things you can do today to get yourself there. My name is Spencer Sue with eXp Realty, and in the last five years, we did over 250 transactions all around the Bay Area, which is one of the most competitive markets in the country. Let's begin. Number one, you gotta have a clear game plan on your calendar. You need to know exactly what needs to happen each and every day. So what do I have it structured as? The morning, I always do it with some outbound activity because I need to be the one that creates dialogues with people. I can't just expect business to come to me. I gotta be outreaching and to establish new relationships or grow deeper with the existing relationships that we have. After that, afternoons, I like to go on appointments meet with those people. Even if they're not looking to buy or sell, you could be a potential advocate of yours. They can send you clients. They can send you people that could be of good reference for yourself. Also at the afternoon, because you've already did your outreach, you can create content like this, whether it's on social media, YouTube, do direct mailing, do individual handwritten notes. Everything works, but you gotta be consistent and keep building with the context that you think that you can build trust with and grow a relationship with. And in the evening time, or if you're an early morning riser, those are more private times. What can you do for the business side? What should you do process-wise to get better, right? It seems simple, but the key is being consistent and making sure you're consistent and accountable to those daily activities. Number two, you really gotta go deep in what I call three pillars. Now, what are pillars? Opportunities come in different categories. They can come from open house. They can come from mailers. They can come from online leads. Like these are all individual buckets. Now, because your relationship with those people and where they are in the journey is very different, it is your goal to really understand this and, and focus on things to get really good at those individual pillars. So for example, let's say you wanna do online leads. Well, online leads, there's a lot of things to think about, right? How much should you be spending? Which area should you be spending? What should you be saying when you first meet with them? How do you follow up with them? How long do you think it'll take and know how much time these actually take to close, right? Just because you're gonna be spending a couple thousand dollars a month, doesn't mean you're gonna get that return right away. How long do you need to plan? What are the actual conversions of that? There's a lot of details that I go in different videos about that, but at the same time, you need to have that long-term vision to be able to ride that pillar out. You don't need to be mastering all of them. You just need to know a few and then be really deep in it. Because for example, whether you spend $500 a month on lead sources, if it's working well, why don't you spend $10,000 a month, right? Like if it's really working well, you can keep increasing different knobs to get better and better with that. If you're getting a lot of business from Sphere, why don't you do more events together? Do you think you have a higher odd of, of building deeper relationships? The answer is likely yes. So those are things that you can do to get much deeper, but also to turn it up if you're seeing success. So be sure to focus just on a few pillars, focus on the learning of it, and then focus on learning some skills and improving upon individual pieces of that and make sure you track those numbers. Last but not least, always think about the business of learning. You wanna be learning, but don't spend all your time learning and not implementing. So for example, you don't wanna spend 40 hours a week just reading a bunch of books. While you're gonna be smarter, you're not gonna be able to apply all of it. So spend an hour each week to learn something deeper about those pillars. But at the same time, spend a lot more time actually implementing the things that you learned. So my role, spend one hour a week learning. And you can use this, like we're, we as realtors are gonna be driving a lot. So listen to podcasts, listen to audiobooks. But then as you are done listening to it, take down notes and actually implement some of the things you do right away. Otherwise, it'll just go into your ear, through your brain, out the door, and it's almost as if nothing ever happened. It's not complicated, but the key is repetition. No silver bullets out there. And if you're wanting to get mentorship training and get your business looked at and on track, come join me at eXp. I love to review your business together and come up with a cohesive game plan that works with your lifestyle. My contact details are below, or you can send, call or text me 408-547-4590. See you in the next one. Bye now.